Hey folks, today we are going to show you how to propagate Pacific Madrona trees from seed. So the Latin name is Arbutus mensaisii. They are a native species of tree here to the southern Gulf Islands, areas along the Pacific coast of Canada, all the way down to uh, coastal California, and I believe even in northern Mexico they claim along the coast. Um, so what you got to do first is get a nice potting medium. I'm going to use these seed trays here. And the pot medium I'm using is a Sunshine Mix 4, okay? It's really easy. I've, I've moistened it down. And uh, I'm going to put them in each thing here. There's one, two, three. There's 12 of them. There's 12 of these individual pots in this tray. And uh, pack it down just a little bit, not too much. So it looks like this. Okay, so you do this in the fall. It's fall right now, late fall, and that's what the berries look like. In each berry, it contains, contains several seeds. So what you do, you take these berries like this. They're a beautiful broadleaf evergreen uh, tree, and I, I put a bunch in each pot because you can weed out some of them as they uh, germinate. So they're going to need cold stratification. They go through the winter months here, which are wet. Our winter months are wet. We like to say we have two seasons here in the Gulf Islands, wet and dry. And uh, with the cool temperatures, it will stratify the seeds as the uh, berries rot down. They decompose. The seeds will be left behind on the soil. And in the spring, usually around June, you will see seedlings emerge. Now, these are one of the very uh, most trickiest trees to transplant from the wild. Not a good practice to do. They absolutely hate root disturbance. They need exact requirements to grow. So uh, growing them in pots is the easiest way from seed because once they become root bound, you know, it just takes a couple of years to fill the seed, the pots up with the Arbutus tree roots, and then you can just slide the pots off and uh, you will have Arbutus trees for your garden if you live on the coastal mainland. And there we go. Okay, so it looks like that. Put a few more in here, hang on. I put lots in there. Push them down a little bit. I just finished uh, stratifying some uh, Colum Arc Arctostaphylos columbiana seeds as well too. That's uh, hairy manzanita. They're native to higher elevations of our um, islands here. Okay, so I got this loaded up with seed. There's actually more than enough in there. And uh, now I'm just going to sit it outside. I think I'm going to put a cover on it so the uh, squirrels don't eat them or the mice or rats or whatever. So there we go. That's how to do her, folks. And then just uh, be patient, wait, and uh, stay tuned for an updated video. I've done videos on this before. And uh, lo and behold, you will have Arbutus trees of your own. They look like that. I grew those from seed. We have towering specimens of Arbutus on our, our uh, property here. And of course, all over the island, they have peeling bark on them. They are evergreen. They get white flowers in the spring. And then, of course, they get the red uh, berries in the fall. So there you are. And you can cut them down and they will grow back. They also make great firewood if you want to use them for firewood. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos here on this channel. Cheers.